Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. And this one's a little bit different. I'll be showing a lot of CDs in this video. It was inspired by the showing of the Goat's Head Soup double CD remix uh, last week. And um, I raved on about the bonus tracks, especially the three outtakes. Uh, Scarlet in particular, I said, would have been excellent as a single in its own right. So what I decided to do is see if I could get 10 of my artists, so there's no surprises here and the artists I'm going to show, if there's any of the outtakes that I think should have either been on the album, either an A-side itself or as a B-side, but it should have been released at the time rather than coming out 20 odd years later as a bonus track. And there's one in particular that still hasn't really come out yet, which I'll leave to the end. But we'll start off with the Electric Light Orchestra, and the song is called Everyone's Born to Die. And it was an outtake from uh, On the Third Day. It's a very Bob Dylan-esque song. It's really, really good. Maybe it doesn't fit on this album with the rest of the orchestral pieces. Uh, it's also rumoured that Mark Bowen played guitar on this. I don't know if that's true or not but a lot of people seem to think so. So was it good enough to be a single? I don't think so. Uh, but the single off this was Mama Belle and the B-side was on this album as well. A song called Oh No Not Susan, which is a great song. But there was the opportunity to put Everyone's Born to Die as the B-side and it should have come out at that time. Next up <clears throat> is David Bowie. And from the Young American Sessions is a song called It's Gonna Be Me. Now this was originally planned to be on the Young Americans album, even though it may have been called The Gouster. This is from the Who Can I Be Now box set, uh, which is very, very good. Um, but it's an absolutely brilliant song. It's very slow. His vocals are really soulful. It's one of his best vocal performances, and it would be in my top 10, 20 Bowie songs of all time. But it was dropped in favour of fame or um, uh, across the universe when John Lennon came on board for a while and then the album became Young Americans. But there's so many outtakes from this album that um, it, to, me, to me it should have been a double album and it would have been probably his best album if it had been a double album. For example, John I'm Only Dancing Again was originally supposed to be on the album. Who Can I Be Now is a great song. Um, After Today and then even things like the gouster itself and i am the laser so there's plus it's going to be me there's about six seven more songs would have made a fantastic double album so david bowie is going to be me next up is paul mccartney and this was a bonus track on uh, wildlife and it's called mama's little girl now it originally came out as a b-side in 1990, it was recorded in around 1971-72, but it came out as the B-side of Put It There, which is a shame. It should have been released at that time. It was actually slated for the Red Rose Speedway album, so I don't know why they didn't put it as the B-side of that CD rather than Wildlife. But it has finally got released as part of this uh, double reworking of the album. But to me, again, it could have been a B-side of My Love, even though The Mess was the B-side of that. Or even Live and Let Die. From around that period anyway, it's just too good to have been left in the can until 1990. So that's Paul McCartney's Mama's Little Girl. Next one up is T-Rex. Um, from the 1974 sessions, and this is a CD, T-Rex Unchained, Volume 5. And it's a funky number called Lock and To Your Love. Now Mark Bowen has said that he wanted uh, Bowen Zipgun to be really funky. He chickened out, so he did, because here was the opportunity to get a real dance groove onto this album here, Bowen Zipgun. But, as I said, he didn't do it. And there's a, a couple other songs as well that could have really have fit on this and made this a much stronger album. Sanctified is one of them. Um, Do I Love Thee is another one which is actually very good, but Lock and To Your Love for me was the golden opportunity and I think he should have been brave and released it as a single as well and showed the way forward, but he didn't do it. 
Okay, we're coming back to the stones for number five. And I'm going to mention two. The first one I don't have in physical format. I do have the album uh, Some Girls and I have the downloaded version of the deluxe version in 2011. Um, and there's a song on that called Don't Be a Stranger, which is absolutely brilliant. It's actually quite Spanishy sounding with a little bit of sort of a Jamaican reggae feel to it as well. I think it should have been on the album, uh, maybe drop just my imagination, or even when the whip comes down, because I was never that keen on that. But the one I'm going to pick, and this is a dodgy one, <laughs> because I don't know where to put it. The album is Exile on Main Street. This is the 2010, I think, reissue with uh, the extra tracks on the second disc. And the song is called Plundered My Soul. Now, it's as good as anything on that Exile uh, album. And for me, it should have been included. And now, the song I don't like on Exile on Main Street is Casino Boogie. But the problem is, if it was to be included, the whole track listing would have had to have been rearranged because Plundered My Soul is quite, not similar to, but it's got a similar feel to Tumbling Dice. And those two songs would have been sitting right beside each other on side one and it wouldn't have worked. But I'm sure something could have uh, been done because that song sat in the can for 28 years without being heard. Okay, a lot of bootleggers probably had it, but people like me, I never heard it and I couldn't believe it when I heard it absolutely fantastic song and why it was never released or even added to a different album because some of the bonus tracks in this are uh, magnificent next one up and there's a song on this here this is ant box um uh, adam and the ants or adam ant and it gives a lot of rarities as well as lp tracks as singles there's a song called saigon which for me was good enough to feature on his album Vive La Rock produced by Tony Visconti. I would have taken the song possibly Razor Keen or Rip Down Off and put Saigon on. It's a better song but for some reason it didn't happen and again it took about 15 years for us to hear Saigon. You know a b-side or something you know they could have even released Saigon as a single because it's probably better than the Vive La Rock single itself but it never happened, so Saigon is my number six. Number seven, and it's The Birds from the Dr. Birds and Mr. Hyde session, and it's the song, Stanley's song. Now, I don't know if this was released on a film or anything like that, I don't know, but to me, <laughs> this is better than nearly everything off this album, and I really do like this album, but the medley could have been, it could have been dropped, and Stanley's song, which is a lovely little country number, could have been put in and why I don't know it never happened but it's, again it's good to have it as a bonus track next up and uh, number eight and it's Bob Dylan and it's from this bootleg series one to three I think and it's a song called series of dreams from the O Mercy album which is I don't have it out yes I do have it out this one here it's the best song if this was on it this album it would have been the best song I don't know who compiles the albums but it is absolutely fantastic I couldn't believe how good it was when I first heard it um, I would possibly have dropped the first song off this political world because things are maybe a little bit bland it's okay but series of dreams is a far far better song but it wasn't included and number nine is Elton John and there's a song off this called Plains which is different to everything that he recorded for Rock of the Westies but for me Rock of the Westies it was his rock album but side two was too samey and Plains would have really have slowed everything down a little bit maybe used as the last song and it's an absolutely fantastic song again I didn't get it as a b-side or anything like that there but it's a really excellent song so Plains uh, from the Rock of the Westies uh, sessions. This is where we first heard it on Rare Masters and I think this came out in the early 90s. So the last one I'm going to talk about is ABBA. Now this is their Vully Vu album, this is the deluxe CD version. Now we found out in the uh, Thank You For The Music box set 
there was ABBA on Deleted where they took snippets of songs that they hadn't released and made like a big medley of them and then there was a song called Hamlet which is actually a song, it's a traditional uh, tune uh, called Lotus Shotus, I think that's how you pronounce it which Benny Anderson himself does on accordion on the solo album Klinga Mina Clocker, now I do not know if I'm pronouncing that right but it is so infectious now you can hear it on YouTube as well, it's sometimes called Autumn Leaves which I'm going to put a link to below the, the best version because a lot of DJs and so forth have tried to extend it and make it into a full song it is only a clip of about 45 seconds to a minute but they managed to get three minutes out of it and it is actually really good um, this was recorded around the time of the Voulez Vous sessions the start of the sessions and there's quite a few other songs that were recorded as well um, one in particular was uh, Dream World which they didn't like, which I think is brilliant, but they uh, took a section out of that and put it into Does Your Mother Know? Another one was Just a Notion, which is a really great tune as well, but they weren't happy with the sessions and they started all over again. Hamlet was part of those sessions, or Autumn Leaves was part of those sessions. So I would love to have seen Autumn Leaves, because it's a beautiful song, and you'll hear it yourself if you dare click the link below. That may not have uh, sat on this very well, but what it would have done was sat well with I Have a Dream as a double A side 1980 because they are quite similar in field. And you know, there was an opportunity, an absolutely beautiful song. Okay, they didn't write it themselves, but still absolutely gorgeous to listen to. So, um, Hamlet or Autumn Leaves or Lot of Shot is whatever you want to call it, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so there's 10 artists um, with outtakes, which I think should have been released at the time. It's good to have them now. Apart from the other one, we still don't have it. And there are still other outtakes out there that they won't release. For heaven's sake, give us just like that. Because that's what every ABBA fan is screaming out for as well. Okay, that's me for now. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best now. Bye-bye.